Hello all. Welcome to the DevOps Planet. In this video, we will see how we can host static web app over Azure App Services. So for this, we will link our GitHub repository to the Azure web apps. So I have already created one GitHub repository repository that is DevOps Planet hyphen demo. In this, I have simply written a index.html file. So it's a basic code, basic HTML code. Now I will deploy this index.html file as a public website in Azure Web Apps. So for this, first log in into your Azure account. Then in the search bar, type app services. So you will see the app services button here. Click on this and you will redirect to the app service home page. Here click on the create. So here you can create web app, static web app, web app plus database and WordPress on app services. So in this video, we will see the static web app part and in other videos, we will see the other services. So click on the static web app. Now it will ask us uh, basic information to set up the web app. So first we need to select the resource group. So I'm selecting the resource group here. It is, it will ask the web app name. So I am passing the name as uh, demo web app. Now here it is asking for the plan types, whether it is free or standard. So for the standard, we have to pay some charges. So I will go with the free one. Here it is asking for the location that which in which reason we want to deploy this web app. Now here you can see we have three deployment details. One is GitHub, second is Azure, third is other. So if you are using the GitHub repository, then the first option you have to check for the Azure DevOps, you can click the other one. So I have the GitHub repository here. So I will go with the GitHub page. Now to authenticate it. So I have already authenticated here. And if you want to change the authentication, you can click on change account and it will redirect you, redirect you to the GitHub page. So I have already authenticated here. Now in the organization, select the organization. And in the repository page, it will automatically fetch all the repository. So I will go with the DevOps planet hyphen demo. Here we have to select the branch that from which, which branch we want to do the deployment. Now the next is build presets. So here we need to select that our application is based on which framework. So it's a simple HTML code. So I'm selecting the HTML. So it's completely depend on your code that uh, on which platform it is depend whether it is react or other so i will go with the html now it is asking for the app location and the output location so my code is on my root directory my index.html and my root directory so the slash is fine here now click on tax and review plus create so here it will verify the uh, configurations which has been passed in other all these steps and then it will give a prompt to create the web app. So click on this create button. So as you see, it has given a notification that initializing deployment. So uh, deployment means it has started the resource creation part. So in the Azure, we called it as a deployment. So whenever the deployment is in progress, it means it has started the resource creation. So now it is creating the web apps. So you see the deployment is completed and it has created one app services for us. So now click on go to resource and it will redirect to the web app. So the demo hyphen web app was the name of our app service. And here we can see the URL. So this is the public URL. So if I click on this, so currently I can see uh, the default page. This page has been uh, deployed by the Microsoft Azure itself. So you can see that uh, my website index.html is not deployed here. So let me show you how that works. So if I refresh this page, the GitHub page, you will see it has add, added one workflow. It has added one, uh, one workflow in my GitHub repository. And if I click on this workflow, so I can see it has created one YML file and it has written the deployment steps in this YML file. So basically it is deploying this repository code into my web apps. So here you can see it has passed one secret. 
it is pass one secret so if i go to the settings and here uh, in the setting if i click on secrets and variables and click on actions so you see the variable has been created by the azure itself and you can see the message is updated now means this variable has been created automatically by the azure cloud so now let me show you the pipeline so for this click on the action button in the github so here we can see that we have uh, one pipeline set up here that is azure static web app ci cd and if i click on this workflow so i can see the build and deployment job so the deployment has been completed so it has deployed this azure web app services from my github account so now if i refresh this page so you can see that website has deployed so that is how we can deploy our github repository code into the azure web apps and also we saw that how we can set up the cicd part so if you want to change something in the cicd approach you can simply update this yml file which has been committed in the workflow so i hope now you are clear how we can create this services thanks for watching this video